Hi everyone, McBeard here. Welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video covering all my favorite decks that I can until we start covering new cards. So let's talk about Freljord Shirima Overwhelm with the newest players being Renekton and Sejuani. Uh, this deck focuses on pushing extra damage in over low health units through the act of the Overwhelm mechanic, which is like trample damage if you are familiar with magic. But very specifically, this deck makes use of a lot of things that were added in Shirima that gives a lot of vulnerability and bonuses when certain units challenge other units. This deck is primarily focused, however, on making sure that we can control the board as much as possible through vulnerability. I lean heavy into vulnerable because keeping the board nice and clean, uh, it's just something, before I played, I played them all, I played all the card games. Uh, but board control, big part of Hearthstone, big part of Magic the Gathering. Uh, but board control in this game being done through combat or spells, uh, there's just so many ways to control the board. So in this particular situation, not only are you controlling the board by choosing your trades in combat, but you are also choosing where you get the most overwhelmed damage when you trample over a low health target. Dunekeeper is a really strong card right now. It was released in the Shirima expansion, came out with... Uh, much earlier in the year. Uh, it wasn't part of the most recent expansion, but this one is a very good card. It offers a lot of power level. It can deal four damage on the first turn, which is really strong for aggro. It also gives you two blockers, one of which that can trade up to a 3-2, and uh, it, its power level is quite high. It's hard not to keep this for that reason alone, uh, but it's also really great to have two bodies attacking if you have everything is vulnerable. You, it's really good just to have these little chumps that come in and kind of just take care of really important units. But the Dune Keeper has a three of, just a really easy keep, especially in the opening mulligan. Exhaust and also Caught in the Cold. These are spells that give the opponent vulnerable, but also reduce their power. I have five of these cards in my deck right now. And uh, every time I use them, it feels so satisfying because being able to trade in this game, the exhaust was not coming far enough. I was thinking about adding Ruthless Predator, but it's good enough that we're just running Renekton and Ruthless Predator is the signature spell, the champion spell for Renekton. But that also gives vulnerable. The Rockhopper drops a Roiling Sands, which is a landmark, and that landmark gives the next enemy vulnerable when it drops. This can really influence what your opponent plays, can force them into playing something that they don't necessarily want to play at that moment, like a Dune Keeper. Anything that is played and spawns a unit, the unit that is spawned technically hits the board first, so it will get the vulnerable effect absorbed by uh, basically like an ephemeral unit, so like a Dune Keeper specifically. So it can be played around, but that's maybe mana that they didn't want to spend on their curve. It's always a real nuisance. It always allows for a lot of great trades because the Rock Hopper itself is 3-1, and that's just, you know, three trades up into the 4-3, and there's a lot of 4-3s in the world right now. Uh, specifically, the Merciless Hunter. Got to talk about the Merciless Hunter. This card is very well statted at 3. It is a 4-3 Fearsome that also grants an enemy vulnerable, and there is no condition on this at all. It is a very good card. This means that this can trade up uh, to a 5-4 and much higher with Troll Chant and Shape Stone, which are two combat tricks that we are also running. The Shape Stone, even at 1-1, but usually being played for the 3-1 because hitting the Rock Hopper or the Preservarium is likely enough in a game. You can kind of rely on that. But as the 3-1, that's extra overwhelm damage to end the game. But in some cases, this, this could let a unit survive because the plus one health is the same no matter what. And sometimes that's just what you need it for. When you get the plus two overwhelm damage, yeah, that's great. When you get a, when you get a much better trade with a champion, you better believe that's fantastic. And we also have uh, Shapestone and uh, Troll Chant. Troll Chant is probably the best, what I call combat trick in the game. And I call it a combat trick because that's what I would call it in Magic the Gathering. It is, the, the, uh, these are the instant spells that can be cast in response to a combat phase that can be put on the stack of last in, first out, that will change the outcome of combat after blockers have been assigned and really screw up the trades and really just kind of take advantage of the board. This is such a strong card. It can make it can make two trades better or it can make one trade very favorable. 
When we have all these vulnerable units, sometimes it's really great just to have an Avarus and Sentry to pull a unit away and then just draw you another card. I have this for Cycle because sometimes it just really feels bad to not hit a Renekton or a Sejuani. Not that you need them a lot, but they can really change the game because Renekton, as a blocker, can start leveling up right away. 4-4 four, four is respectable if you can protect him. Uh, and if you can get him down when a good vulnerable target is there, that's when you can get that extra vulnerable, that extra overwhelm damage and increase his level up as well. If you can play just an extra, uh, just an extra plus two attack on an attack phase through Shape Stone or Troll Chant, if you can get that stuff on Renekton, then you just have to have one blocking phase. He survives and then he levels up. He's dealt his twelve damage. You just want your opponent to deal with the trades of having like a Dune Keeper or a Rock Hopper or the Ruthless Raider, which is a very good blocker as it is tough. It takes one less damage, which means it can block early blades, early sand soldiers, and it can survive a card that we have, uh, which has really been great uh, for me. That's Ice Shard. Ice Shard breaks barriers. I believe it also breaks Spell Shield, hits the Nexus for one, kills Green Glade duos, can save your life. It'll completely nullify one of, uh, like one of Aurelia Azir's token attacks because it'll deal one damage to everything. Uh, it can be a quick answer to a sparring student when they don't expect it. But for the most part, dealing one to everything, there's a place for this. There's a place for this. And the fact that it can be lethal damage is just one extra incentive. I don't run two of them, but I feel like our draws and our cycles are good enough. Uh, sorry, I don't run three of them. Our draws and our cycles are good enough that I tend to see the two ofs that we run. The only one I haven't seen is Ruin Runner. I haven't seen this since I added it to the deck. But this is a very good source of Overwhelm. It's very hard to deal with because it has Spell Shield, so it ignores a lot of spells, with the exception of Scrying Sands. Uh, that, does, that, does not, that does not pop the Spell Shield. I think that's actually unintended. Uh, so there is that. But it can be made vulnerable by cards like Merciless Hunter. That will not be stopped by Spell Shield. The play icon has to be... It has to have that circle next to it that uh that specific skill then it can be reacted to so an example would be uh like uh yone his play skill is something there it is this is a skill that allows enemy reactions so just be careful about that but in general though spell shield is a very very strong mechanic when it comes to the combat tricks i talked about this makes it much harder to have this card be concerted striked or single combated or anything. Sejuani is another vulnerable giving, frostbite giving super card that also has Overwhelm. So anything in this deck with Overwhelm is happily a recipient of a power buff, and the best of which, Battle Fury. This is, this is just a game ender right here. If you go into your turn with eight mana, and that can be leftover spell mana, of course this game has a banking system where you can bank three mana for spell mana, you go into a turn as early as turn five, if you bank enough mana, attack in with the plus eight. There's nothing that's gonna stop that overwhelm damage. Your opponent just tries to recall something and they take all that damage. The game can end quickly. There's a lot of ways to end the game through just running over the opponent. It's like the monster truck deck. If you just like rolling over the opponent and just slowly chipping away at their health and weenies cannot save you. Weenies cannot save you opponents. Check out this deck, as usual, like and subscribe. Of course, it helps the channel right now as we're building with Legends of Runeterra videos. It's my second one so far. Hope you enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you next time. Dragons again. This is a, this is a very popular matchup today. So playing fast against dragons feels pretty okay. Pretty good start. Troll Chant and Ruthless Raider is, I find, very good. Uh, our friend has the minion knot. No Zoe in hand. Zoe, Aurelian, Saul. So no Shivana in this deck is either. So I imagine it's gonna have, it's gonna have a little bit of a slower turn three, four ish because it's not gonna be focusing on combat tricks. It's gonna be maybe focusing more on early elusive plays or cheaper elusive plays. Um, in any case, an empty board is a great time to play Rock Hopper because it dis. It seems not though. And I, uh, I want to delay my attack as much as possible because I have something that's going to be giving my opponent vulnerable, which will allow me to trade with however I see fit. In combat, I usually don't get that option. Uh, this is just a 
really strong hand we have here. If we play Ruthless Raider, we still have mana for Caught in the Cold. Uh, if this isn't enough, it probably will be. But we also still have mana for Troll Chant in that situation, too. It seems like the just a really, really, strong, uh, really strong bench. Nothing occurring here. So we get three damage in. Gonna catch the sky. It's clear that the attack needs to be off the table before Sir Pep is playing a unit. But I'll say, it, you know, for I six know, damage, for for the fact that we it's avoided, it's it's gotten a blocker away from us in a really critical attack. So I like thirty percent off. That's the McBeard special. We get first we get first hit. It's like scoring first in baseball. In a lot of ways this game feels like baseball. In a lot of ways, your lead may never be safe against some decks. You really have to take advantage of most of your opportunities. What a mana spend here. I don't even mind. What a, shame for you. What a mana expenditure here. What a shame for you. We're just going to give Vulnerable to the next thing that's played anyway. Oh, that's a pretty... Uh, that's probably in his deck as well. That's a pretty normal card to see. But is it Merciless? Or is it is it Preservarium? It's Preservarium, right? He's got a challenger on the board. No attack? Right. Renekton dies to a single combat, like a like a combat trick. So what we could do is lead off with Caught in the Cold. But we also have Troll Chant to help us with so many situations. So I think we just actually go for Renekton here. As I live, all will die. All will die. Is Renekton a crocodile beast or an alligator beast? Or is he kind of his own thing? All right, we're going to weaken him. We're going to bring him in. Renekton loves challenging. So he's going to get a big buff. He's so excited. Let's go, baby. So excited to eat this dragon. Om nom nom. Now he's halfway to his level up requirement now. He just wants to deal that damage. It's a Targon's Peak deck. All right, so as you can see, this causes some chaos, but I have found that these, I find that the decks that, uh, that have more than like four cards in hand, they could whiff. They probably have another Targon's Peak in hand that could get hit with Targon's Peak. You get some pretty bad luck here. What are we gonna get for free? Is this gonna be the rock hopper? What is my opponent gonna get for free? What's the free card? Show me something that I can handle, please. I'm in a good position to win here, just kinda looking at the vulnerability situation and the overwhelm situation. Is this the one that was costing zero? No, it's, he. this was definitely paid for in full. Challenger. Another challenger, huh? Not bad. I guess I just play my rock hopper. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. I can ride it. Troll chant all the way here. Oh, change of heart. Four more damage to his level up. For what it's worth. Oh man. This looks good for us, doesn't it? It should just be as I mean, we just have it, right? Uh we just have it. If they're out there, I'll spot them. 
I've been uh, I've been thinking about a Targon's Peak deck that runs Zephyr Sage, so it just, copies just it copies the zero cost unit, so you can play two zero cost units a turn. I haven't really tried it yet, but I've 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 planned it out. I hope we can get it. Uh, so we can just bring this down to zero. Like I don't think we can lose this, right? Boom. Deck's a little bit too slow, even for a more of a mid-range deck like Overwhelm. But certainly we put our opponent in a position where they could not really play what they wanted to play. And uh, I think that's a pretty good opening to the oppressive nature of this deck if you can't put out blockers or you can't put out solutions fast enough. And this deck is not even that fast. It gets that damage in and it trades so well. It trades so well. Renekton and Sivir against our Renekton Sejuani deck. So we're kind of going to see two different flavors of Renekton deck in this matchup. So that's pretty cool. Too expensive to keep, but really this opening looks great. Troll Chant, Renekton, uh, Dune Keeper even to like maybe see if my opponent gets complacent about a trade and then we can get some like crazy value out of Troll Chant. But really Troll Chant and Renekton is the ultimate. Troll Chant and Ruthless Raider also very good. Very good start here. So do we want to start off and see if we can get in that four damage? Uh, I don't see a downside to that. And we are a damage pushing deck. We're trying to chip away. We're gonna get that 20% off. It's the McBee discount for this one. Hope you're enjoying the long weekend, everybody. I know I am. Ooh, another slow start. Uh, would be another great situation for Rockhopper, but Variance has given us the Ruthless Raider this time. Such is Variance, such as RNG. Renekton is here. He's very here. This is going to take another five damage easily here. Uh, uh, already at 11. It doesn't take much from here. Okay. I'm just going to pass at the moment. Not putting Vulnerable on the Overwhelm. May not be right here. Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's, it's special, special enough. enough. So we'll be able to actually catch Renekton in the cold, I think. I think that's what I want to do here. Next turn, next turn. Rock Harper, okay, that's fine. I am no surrender. I am no surrender. Uh, okay, so that's gonna happen. All right, let's catch Renekton in the cold. It's the first time I'm actually using this card in a game. It just looks so good on paper. Looks so good on paper, right? My shield is yours. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm, can't do anything about that, right? That Renekton is barriered. But I have a Renekton as well, and my opponent can't play another Renekton. I have a feeling this would have been... If there was a Renekton in hand, like another... I feel like he would have... My opponent... Well, I'm going to say he. Shy guy dude. I'm going to say he. Um... Yeah, you know, I feel like he would have maybe not played out of the mana range of Renekton. Definitely seems like a very safe and fine time to play. And we also have Ruth go on uh, mana for Ruthless Predator as well, for what it's worth. And it could be worth a lot, because we're pushing Overwhelm damage. So with the two extra, so we get plus two on the attack. 
and the blocker he's going to get, so this is always going to be minus two. So we got four going through, four, five, six. Leads our opponent with five damage. This is probably just going to end up trading with this, but if it doesn't, put my opponent at two. So it has to trade. He has to take this trade. And even then, well... I get violent when I'm bored. No mercy! Face your end. <laughs> Raw. Whoa, very interesting. So this is seven damage coming to Renekton. But we can fix that with Troll Chance. We buff Renekton. And we bring this thing in because it's in combat with Renekton. Uh, this is looking pretty good. Slash, slash, bam. Bam, bam. Two draws here to save us until next. That's something that will reduce damage on our side. And that's something that could actually make a better trade. Big weapon for a little warrior. Come on, I'll give you a closer look. Yeah, we're just looking for blockers, right? If they're out there, I'll spot them. Look out for Reavers. Bam, bam, bam. What's up, what's up? Ah, okay. Yes. No retreat. Move. Only one mana left. It could be shaped stone. Which would save Renekton. What are the odds of that? Did he even play any? Has he even played any? It doesn't matter, right? Shapestone still works. I'm gonna have to... I think we are... Oh, will this pop the spell shield? That actually could be very useful for us. Oh, this is great. I think we'll, I think we just win here, right? We got it. Rock Hopper to be. I think Rock Hopper Sun's keeps it pretty me sure here. And wins behind me. Can't just play some shitty thing here because then I have the perfect overwhelm. Ah, cataclysm. A free attack challenging an enemy. Okay. Does that matter? It's a living. Should have attacked, huh? I guess I should have attacked. I feel like I'm getting uh, I'm getting got here. We can play everything, we, we can play everything, except for, uh, hold on, wait. We may need this for lethal damage, so we have, we play Ruthless Raider and Exhaust and Ice Shard. This land is ours. Man. Is that bird sound coming from the game or from outside? I got I heard a really loud bird. To the field! You got caught! You got caught. Hmm. Looks like three. It's always going to be like a three type.
Everything trades here. Everything trades no matter what happens except for this. It's already vulnerable though, so. The Winter's Claw! Gonna catch the sky! This doesn't work for us, does it? Hmm. Now we have fearsome damage, so we can control this a little bit more. We love it when they run. So I don't think the ice shards is helping us anymore. Ready for deployment. Okay, so that can't block. And everything is, everything is, all the trample is blocked here, right? No, three gets through. We can pull away the fearsome blockers. And that's four, right? Yeah! Puzzle solving over here. Ah, Elise Spider Burn. How do we feel about this deck? Where do we stop? We have good trades. We have good blockers here. This is just a really strong start. The Shape Stone's gonna be the Shape Stone's gonna be important to block at least a fearsome blocker, even on plus one. So this isn't a fearsome blocker, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna wait until I can make better trades. This is an excellent fearsome blocker. And so is this. So at least could be coming down next, right? So we want rock on right. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. I have my <laughs> What a shame for you! Oh, I take this trade now. This is a fearsome blocker, but don't I want to kill this? Maybe I can just wait. Fearsome might be just... Fearsome might actually just be scary. It won't get past me! Alright, we just gotta clear... We gotta keep this board clean. This is going to be an immediate attack turn. That's the unit I wanted to kill the most. I get that trade anyway. Fight or die. This is, uh, if we're able to stabilize here. And hopefully we are. In the shadows. <clears throat> I run a bloody path through Shirima. That's scary. I'd be scared. I am their end. Face your end. Face your end. What up? Hmm, and you're saying I'm gonna get all this damage through? Is that what you're saying? All right, well that's pretty interesting because I can do another three damage here. Bring him to eight. And it's Renekton damage too, which means that if he blocks next turn, he'll level up. That's nine damage. So bring, no, his life total goes two. We need to get Dunekeeper down for blocker as soon as possible. Battle Fury is the winning. That's uh, We just need one more attack phase and we win. These blockers help us. 
Troll chant helps us. So this means one fearsome gets through this way, but we also have something that can block the spider. We just want the overwhelm, right? The winter's claw strikes. A free block on the spider if we already have it. Right, this is great. This is the attack. Awesome. Hush now. There's gonna be some like burn here, I think, at the very end. If I use Troll Chant, no, never mind. Sorry, if I use Ruthless Predator specifically, what are you waiting for? Uh, Renekton levels up. Wait, Renekton's going to level up anyway. He dealt nine damage last turn, not eight. We left the opponent at eight. Right. Sharpen Resolve, huh? That leaves us at three. Okay, I don't like that. Good. Looks good. Raw. Alligator or crocodile? What's the deal with this dude? It's just murder gator. It's just murder gator. I think. That's the game, right, dude? Battle Fury. Let's go. Raw. Smash him. Damn. Crack their bones, then we feast. Man, ruthless. Shen Jarvan. What have we here? Shen Jarvan seems like a slower deck. What are the... So is this... This could be... Um, what could it be? How do you start off here? It's elites? So it's going to have a lot of challengers and stuff? Everything in our hand is a vulnerable card. I don't even know if I... Well, I don't know. Like, Caught in the Cold, I, I really enjoyed it. This is at least a playable hand, I think. So, Juani, we haven't seen her in a while. I must reach the king. Cheers to my friend, Infinite Echo, with the honorable... The honorable early good game, it could go either way, you know? You could think about that either way. Rock Hopper looks great here. I mean, not like we have options. The option is always to save mana, but... Considering that the next thing that's going to be played is going to be this beefy challenger unit or something that's going to eat the vulnerability. Me and wins behind me. Really, we just want vulnerable units on the board. You got that's good. Pass here. I like getting Preservarium right around this time. Swim within the flows of magic. Ah. A gift from the river folk. So Troll Chant actually prevents the strike from occurring. Also, we can block it. Well, yeah, I mean, we can trade with the Eagle, sorry, the Fleet Feather Tracker, and deny the strike on the River Shaper, play the draw, and then have a much more interesting save the mana, hopefully. But I'm no, we're not going to save the mana. We're going to be playing Troll Chant, is what I, is what I was thinking. Just a little yeah. farther.
Looking for a spell looks pretty specific. Vicky Rosin. It's we're going we're doing well. We're having a great time. I'm just looking for highlights with some decks, but we're but we're winning a lot, so that makes for good highlights. Nightfall. We already had the first two hours with Nightfall. Great, great stuff we got. Great stuff. Alright, Renekton is fantastic here. We don't have the spell mana to make him truly threatening, nor the vulnerable targets. So am I playing him here? Would I just be playing into some sort of challenge that I wouldn't be able to win? If we play Ruthless Raider instead, we just probably get better trades. I do want to kill this. Actually, I'm going to play Merciless Hunter. I want to remove this unit. Find a gift for right, and we still have Exhaust, so this kind of baits... This could bait uh, just playing a better blocker here or playing something like super important. Like his own, well, he's not gonna play, sh he can't play his champions yet, but something with four strength that I can just vulnerabilize and take out with the hunter. Okay, that's not what's gonna happen here. <clears throat> that's right, run! Get four damage in here, no blocker. Or do we? All right, fair, fair. That's, four, that, that's an expensive spell. I think it puts us, we're still in good shape here, I think, on board. But as we get into the mid range, we're gonna have to start keeping the pressure on. Yo, Eclipse, it's all you played last season? I just moved in, so we just played, this is, I'm playing my favorite decks in order, I think. So we played Nightfall first. One balance. And now we are playing this deck, which I've also very much enjoyed this season. We have, like, our turns Our turns are looking good here. We have Renekton, we have Sejuani. We have draws to help us in the end. We have Vulnerable, which I think is the play. I guess we want to play Renekton because he would be a good blocker in this situation. And we can get his level up started. Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special, special enough. enough. You bleed. Ah, it's annoying. But I mean, when's the last time I played against a barrier deck? Will the waters take? Am I getting outplayed here? Am I getting outplayed here? They're all gonna laugh at you. Pretty hard not to play Sejuani here when I'm holding an additional one and I have the spell mana to do Exhaust or Caught in the Cold. Pretty hard not to try to take Shen out Bow of this game. No one. What a nuisance. I missed an opportunity to kill this, and I think I was dumb, right? When I wanted to get the fearsome damage in. I think that was a big mistake. Last season was your first season, you spammed it to plat two. Climb's been rougher this time at G1. Uh, Azir Darius is pretty well positioned right now because it's got a lot of the strength of, you know, all the stuff that makes Azir strong. Uh, but it matches up well against Azir Aurelia, right? I've been playing, last night I played uh, Ezreal Draven, uh, a new, just a different build of it. Focuses a little bit more on the discards, and I loved it. It was really good. Ready for deployment! Okay. Bristle, attack! Okay, hold on. There's probably a lot of we need to do as much damage to Shen as possible. Bring me wrap him up tight. I feel like this is I feel like maybe this is wrong. What I'm doing here. This could be wrong. Well, to be. A gift from the river folk. Two units oh. died in the end. That river that uh The balance. What's this dude? What's this watchful I'm forgetting eye. the name of that? Uh the river shaper. Another Shen comes out, huh? OK. 
Okay. I'm getting a little worried here. I'm a little worried here. It's interesting when you see... So this is like a Jarvan attacking turn. Oh, no, it's not. It changes, but never breaks. No, it's not a Jarvan attacking turn. If I grant, if I play this on, I, I feel like I should really know the answer to this question. I think I do. But at the end of the, at the end of the round, it's healed after this wears off. I'm not... In fact, I'm just going to do this. Because it won't strike, even if it has barrier. And we have a lot of vulnerability still in our hand. It must be done. It must be done. I mustn't stop. Prove your worth. I think I just take the rest of this damage, right? The alternative is spending the four mana and then, I don't know, I have still, like, I could still play a Preservarium and a Ruthless, right? Like, I could still, I think it's, it might be worth it. I'm just worried about Sejuani dying, and then I don't have Sejuani anymore if I do this. In fact, considering the considering my hand, I just think this I take the trade. I just take the trade. I just need this in response. If I can save Sejuani with it, it would feel a lot better. Know what I mean? How do we feel about that? Pretty sure we want to play Sejuani next round. Art is gonna make a meal of them. Shape stone, very nice, very nice. This land is ours. Rock Hopper and then Sejuani. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. My king, I have failed you. Gather yourself, child. Scary stuff. I actually, I love that I'm seeing this deck. Shen Jarvan, I'm, that's cool. This is a cool deck. And this game is, I think, very much in contention. So, what is the play here? Fuck, a 3-6 tough? Jesus. Well, we can deal seven damage to King, to, to King Jarvan here. Deal seven damage. If we can deal five damage to Shen. The damage is survived by both units. I want Sejuani to take less damage. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by! Born for conquest. We'll get our licks in. Leave nothing standing. Actually, the perfect trade right here. You don't give me those understand. trades, baby. Give me those trades. It's only one mana, right? Could still be a Ranger's Resolve, but that doesn't save... Oh, it only saves Shen here. It's actually, what a, I mean, yeah. It only saves Shen. Okay, I can still get pretty crazy here. Jarvan will be attacking. We can pop Barrier right now, though, with Ice Shard. That's like, extremely useful for us. In fact, this could be the blowout card that we that we were looking for. I 
sense and imbalance. To the flag! Shen gets hit by the ice barrier too, but these things also die. But I'm playing Ice Barrier and I'm playing Sejuani's Fu uh, Fury of the North, right? On Sejuani. And I'm ghost blocking here. I like it. It's gonna have to be good enough. Oh, shit. Well, it just means Jarvan lives, right? Ours is but to do and die. Nice. Just like how he says in the game, League of Legends. Let's just draw a card, because I feel like we're just trying to look for a victory here, and that this could be a huge part of it. So if we frostbite Jarvan, 13 damage, huh? We don't need to. We don't need to frostbite Jarvan. We want to make Jarvan. Well, no, the vulnerability works too. I think that this is actually. This is better if there's a rally effect that's coming of any kind. It means that Jarvan will not be able to take advantage of that. There was a new rally effect re uh, release at the beginning of May. Golden Aegis, or Golden Aegis, however you grew up and said it in your head. Really? Really? That is... I haven't been knight in a long time. The flows of magic. Flows of magic. All right, so now how is the overwhelm look damage looking? Considering there's no fearsome... Nah, it doesn't matter. We love it when they run! We love it! Last to not remain buys me a new sale! Bristle, attack! That's right! Run! Strike, we will reform. Currents, Ooh. pull them down. Four health left. I like this a lot, actually. This will, uh... This will now just be killed, right? It won't deal any damage but it'll still be part of a, its own combat. Waters are still nice trades. We're drawing. Shape stone. That ensures the lethal, I think. Ruthless Raider, just in case we need some more overwhelm. What's the play? Snacks, snacks, snacks. It's over. That was a good one. I like that game a lot. I just got that. It's got great footage. What did I say? The was, Winter's Claw Triumph. was any of that footage bad? That footage was all very good. I think. We are climbing with this deck right now. 